Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you a simple way to solve the so-called bug problem, but first you have to be able to recognize it. Take a look at this Sudoku puzzle that is solved up to this point, and then we get stuck. Do you notice anything strange? Notice how every cell has two possibilities, otherwise called bivalue cells, right? Two values in each cell, except for this cell, which has three numbers. But all the other cells are by value, right? Here's another Sudoku puzzle, also solved to this point, where we have all by value cells, except for this cell. And here's another one. Notice the pattern? Again, all by value cells, meaning two values in each cell, except for one, this one. Again, all by value cells, or we could call it binary cells, meaning two values in each cell, except for one, this one. If you can recognize this pattern and you come across it, then the whole puzzle can fall apart for you in a second. All right, maybe a minute or two. Let me show you how and then why. Now, let me take away the third number in this cell, the four, and leave the two and the seven. I'll explain why I chose the four in a couple of minutes, but now every remaining cell in this grid is binary or by value, has only two possibilities, and this is a problem. You can see that every possible candidate that's left appears only twice in each row, each column, or block. For example, let's take a look at the top row. You can see that the two appears twice in the top row here and here. The three also appears two times in the top row. So it can either go here or here. And the same is true for the five. It also appears only two times here and here. And the seven also can either go here or here. The same is true for the blocks Every remaining candidate appears only twice in each block. Look at block two. The three, five, and seven appear only two times in the block. And the same is true for the columns. Take a look at column four. The five and seven appear exactly two times. So every possible candidate appears only two times in every row, column, or block. That is, once we remove the four from this cell. So now we have a situation, a bad situation, a very grave situation. This leaves us with a puzzle that either has two solutions or no solution, as I will show you very soon. But since every valid Sudoku puzzle should have a unique solution, then this is called a bug problem. In computer language, a bug is something that doesn't allow the code to execute properly. In Sudoku, it's short for bivalue or binary universal grave, bug for short. It's a problem if a Sudoku puzzle has multiple solutions, and it's a problem if it has no solution. But if we put back that number, then we have a bug plus one. That is the original bug plus an extra candidate. That's the plus one. And now this puzzle does have a solution and it is a unique solution. Therefore, this cell has to be the number we put back, the four. And once I put back the four, you will see that the whole puzzle unravels. But first, how did I identify this number, the four? Well, first you need to look for one cell that is not by value, but rather is tri value or has three values, while all the rest have just two values. And this cell is it, right? It has three values. Now, how did I decide that the four was the solution? Because the other two numbers, the two and seven, only appear twice in each row, column, or block, whereas the four appears three times in each row, column, or block. Here you can see the two appears twice in this row, twice in this column, and twice in this block. The same goes for the seven. It appears twice in the row, twice in the column, and twice in the block. 
but the number four appears three times in this row, three times in this column, and three times in this block. As long as the number appears three times in each of those units, row, column, or block, and the rest of the cells are by value with their candidates appearing only twice in each unit, then this will work. So this number, the number four, the number that appears three times, this four solves the bug problem, and then the entire puzzle falls apart. If this cell is a four, then let's follow this around. Then this would have to be a seven, and then this cell up here can't be a seven, so this is a two, and then this is a four, this is a two, this is a seven, three, then four, two down here, three, seven, five, four, seven up here, five, three. Let me just fill that in now with the big numbers and the puzzle is solved. Now let's go back to the puzzle before I solved it with the four and see what would happen if this cell was either a two or a seven. Now the puzzle would have either more than one solution or no solution. To prove that, let's say this cell was a two. Then this cell would be a four, this cell would be a three, then this cell would be a seven, and this cell would be a five, making this a four, and this a seven, making this a two, so this is a three, this is a five, this is a seven, this is a three, this is a four, this is a seven, and now this is a four, making this a two. But that doesn't make any sense because we already have a two up here, and obviously you can't have two twos in the same column. So this is not a possible solution, and therefore the first cell can't be a two, or we would end up with an impossible scenario. And by the same token, if we make this a seven instead of a two, then we will again end up with an impossible scenario. Let's see what happens if this cell is a seven, then this cell would be a four, then this is a two, and this is a four, making this a seven. But now we have two sevens in the same column, and that can't be, so this won't work either way with this cell a two or a seven. The only way this puzzle works is if this cell is a four. So you see, whether this cell is a two or a seven, we can follow through and solve the puzzle both ways and find the puzzle doesn't have a valid solution. And that is a bug in the puzzle, literally. In computer code, a bug is not good and neither is a grave, but this cell did have three values. It was a two, seven, and a four, and the four appears three times in the row, and also the column, and also three times in the block. So the four breaks the bug problem if this cell is a four. And now the puzzle unravels. Let's make this a four, this a seven, two, three, seven, five, four, three, seven, five, three, two, seven, four, two, four, and the puzzle is solved. Let's take a look at another example of a bug plus one. Here is the puzzle in the original form, and now here is where I get the bug plus one. Do you see that every cell has two possible values except for this cell right here? This cell has three values, the one, three, and four. So one of these can be eliminated to avoid the bug problem where the puzzle will either have no solution or two solutions. So which one of these numbers is the answer to this cell? Well, it's the number that appears three times in the row, column, and block, and that's the number three, right? The one appears only twice in the row, twice in the column, and twice in the block. The four appears twice in the row, twice in the column, and twice in the block. But the three, the three appears three times in a row, three times in the column, and three times in the block. So the three is the plus one in the bug plus one scenario.
Without the 3, we have a bug, which means this cell has to be a 3. Let's see what sort of bug we would have without the 3. Let's say this cell was a 1. Then this cell would be a 3, making this a 7, this a 9, and then this is a 4. Okay, so far, so good. So now that makes this a 3 and this a 9. Then this is a 1, this is an 8, and this is a 4, which means this is an 8 and this is a 7. And I can continue all around the grid filling in the numbers. And I thought I would make it all the way around, but here I come to a contradiction. This can't be a 3, since this is a 3, and now we have two 3's in column 6, so the first cell can't be a 1, or it will lead to this contradiction, or impossible scenario. So this first cell is not a 1. Okay, let's put the grid back to where it was, and now how about if this cell is a 4? Will we again come to a bug? So let's see. If this is a 4, then this would be a 9, this would be a 7, this would be a 3, and this a 1. Good, let's keep going. 7, 4, 8, 1, 9, 8, 3, 6, 7, 8, 6, 1, 8, 1, 6, 3, 7, 1, 3, then 6, 7, 3. Then this is a 1, but now what is in this cell? It can't be a 1, since I already have a 1 in the column, and it can't be a 3, so again we have a bug. Okay, let's put the grid back to where it was, and let's add back the plus 1, that's the 3. Now, we've already proved that if this cell is not a 3, we have a problem or a bug. So this cell has to be a 3, and then the whole puzzle unravels. Okay, let's make this cell a 3, then this is a 1, and this is a 7, and this is a 9, and this is a 4. Now, that makes this a 3, this an 8, this is a 7, this a 1, and this is an 8, this is a 4, and this is a 9. And since this is a 1, this has to be a 6, this an 8, this a 7, and this a 6, making this a 1. And now this is a 3, this is a 7, this is a 1, this is a 6, a 1, a 7, and a 3. So you can see the whole puzzle is unraveling. This is now a 1, this is an 8, this is a 6, this is a 3, 7, 3, and 1, and the puzzle is done, and no bug this time. So this is a great trick to pull out of your bag if you get to a situation where you have buy values, two values in every cell except for one. Then first check to make sure that each number appears twice in every row, column and block, except for the plus one, which has to appear three times in every row, column, or block, and then you know you have a bug plus one. The plus one is the correct answer for that cell, and once you place that plus one, the whole puzzle will unravel. Okay, here's one last one. This time I won't go through the logic with you, just see if you can spot the plus one. And also, does this conform to the rule of the by values appearing twice in each row, twice in each column, and twice in each block? So first, which cell contains the plus one? Yes, this cell. And what value is the plus one? Well, this time it's the seven, right? This cell has a 4, 7, and 9, but only the 7 appears 3 times in the row, 3 times in the column, and 3 times in the block. The other by values appear only twice in each row, column, and block. The 4 appears twice in the row, twice in the column, and twice in the block. And the 9 appears twice in the row, twice in the column, and twice in the block. So this cell has to be a 7. And once we place the 7, the whole puzzle falls apart. 9, 6, 4, 6, 
four one seven four three one three six four six then two four seven two seven eight one and this is an eight so this is a nine and then eight and one and the puzzle is done and now you know what to do with the bug plus one when you see it i hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something